So I think what we'll do is uh, send a report to Elhan Demon, and then we'll be finally ready, I think, for the palace. I think the, the reason being, uh, she would hope that Elhan might assist coming into the palace with us. What? That's the idea. The group needs me? It's a sight of wonder watching the guardians as they sanctify our streets once more. You have done well. The way to Irenicus will now be less dangerous, though the mage himself will still prove a deadly foe. Seek him out. Destroy his influence once and for all. <laughs> so I guess he's just gonna stand here, I guess. Okay. Sire? I guess the only clue we were given is that we need to free the queen, which she's interested to do anyway. So as to appear the savior of the queen. Where are we going? Here. I guess the streets are probably safe. Let's hope that's true. Something amiss? Yes? Some other completely unrelated uh, item I read about. Somewhat interesting. I don't remember hearing about. Minimals. <laughs> or tiny animals shrunk to miniature size. It's actually, I guess, a, uh, well, it's, it's a monster type. How may I assist? Monstrous Compendium. Or Monstrous Manual. But, uh, just a variety of other animal, but it was actually pioneered by the Harpel family. Harpels being wizards from Longsaddle. That's a village in the north. Make, I guess, arcane experiments on animals. I am yours to... Like, and supposedly, I guess what they do is <laughs> some of these wizards keep these miniature animals called minimals as familiars. It's kind of interesting. I don't think Lily's interested in that, but... Yes? It was interesting nonetheless. Alright, reporting to the High Priestess Demon. You have summoned Rillafane's avatar. The spirit defenders will deal with the exiles' creatures while the city is properly evacuated and the wounded dealt with. The gates to the palace are unsealed now. You can deal with the exile directly. I do not know his plans, but I fear what he might do to both the queen and the tree of life. <sighs> the exile has done something to the great tree, corrupted it. I don't know. Only Queen Alyssa May will have the power to stop him. Oh, look at this. <laughs> you will need the stone harp and the stone horn to pass through the palace. Why would she have mentioned that earlier? Of course, we already have those things. They can be found within the Harpist House and the House of the Horn, respectively. I must leave you now. Wishing us luck. Oh. Then I think uh, Lily's gonna have Nolly look around. <laughs> Please, let me help. Yeah, you would have thought that she would have uh, told us about the harp and the pipe earlier. Alright, looks like more spells. Yeah, I think. I mean, if Lily sees an opportunity, she might push Irenicus aside and try to complete the ritual herself. I doubt we're going to be given that type of an opportunity. Absolute immunity, level 9. Of course, uh, Lily would like to learn that. And uh, Charm Person, level 1. It's an odd mix. Not sure if anyone knows this. She does. Nalia. Yeah. 
Alright, let's hope we sell it. Whoops. Okay. The group needs me? She, uh, I'm ready for anything. Sorry about that. I think we might have, yeah, left a few things in there. Okay. Saya. Thinking about the ritual with the tree of life. I guess uh, the bullets we want. Alright, collecting quite a few though. I think we'll, you know, what are these? Plus twos? Sell the uh, plus ones. Okay. Something amiss? So I think we'll just get, well, sell these items. Oh. Yes? How may I assist? What we should do is uh, take advantage and actually rest here before uh, entering the palace. Especially if we're going to be facing Arenicus. Need to be prepared. Man. <laughs> Alright. Not sure if she needed to set up a uh, spell trigger, maybe. Is it? Time to move? Stone skin. Just ask, and I'll do it. In Alright. Yeah, I think for right now we'll just stick with the uh, greater mouths and Seems to be working. What? All right. Stone skin. I am yours to command. Yeah, I've been reading lots of little uh, interesting tidbits, but unfortunately, that don't really have anything to do. Without where we are. The group needs me. I guess another one is an interesting tactic used by rogues. This is the Rogues of Tilverton. That's a town in Cormier. That's, uh, well, it's not north, it's east of Arm. So there's a local outlaw band led by the daughter of a man nicknamed the Fat Man. <laughs> and her name is. Lari the Lithe Grossman. <laughs> the Lithe, I guess, is her nickname. Lara the Lithe. What? My God protects me and watches us all. And uh, what they do is whenever they have a major theft to conduct, they bring caged frogs. <laughs> To where whatever place they're robbing and they'll tie these packets of dust of disappearance to the bellies of the frogs Sire? I think we sold everything we needed to right yeah and something amiss they simply let the frogs out <laughs> so as these frogs jump around uh, Whatever building they're trying to rob, they're, I guess, um, aerating this dust of disappearance all over the place to allow them to sneak about and escape, essentially. Detection. <laughs> I just thought that was an interesting visual. Yes? Alright, enemy sighted. 
Oh boy. I thought the uh, streets were clear. What is this? Sand Golem. Here's an elven spirit. Yes? It's going to do anything. Okay. How may I assist? Yeah, it just seemed like an interesting tactic to uh, make all that dust airborne by <laughs> tying it in packets to the bellies of frogs. All right, speaking with... I am yours to command. Captain Adu, I guess, in case he has anything to say before we go in. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Well done. Essentially what are you saying? All right. The group needs me? Uh, just make sure that this is really open. Sire? <laughs> okay. So, I guess this is a good spot then. So, I guess next time we'll be going into the royal palace here in Sultanesalar. Trying to stop Arenicus and, well, maybe rescue the queen. For watching, thanks, and uh, later.